What's going on YouTube? It's your boy OGT Man and today we got Ruby Rose has the worst memory ever. Don't know what this is really about. I just know it got Ruby Ruby in it. So let's get with the video. Yeah, diggity diggity. Make sure to get me the 2300 subscribers. Cause right now we at 2206. And once we get there, I'm gonna start doing daily long vlogs of my whole day, literally the whole day of what I'm doing. It don't matter what it is. I'm gonna make sure not to leave out anything. But without that being said, let's get straight to the video. Hold up, wait a minute. Let me also show you all this. Show y'all the poll. Shut up. Right now. Right now. Right now, I'm showing when I hit. Uh, if y'all wanna, you know, most people say they wanna see it soon. So if y'all get, if y'all get it, if y'all get it up there, I'll do it at 2300. But while that being said, let's get started. What's poppin', y'all? We've been hearing a lot from Ruby Rose. Nothing yeah. musically, of course. Actually, oh, let yeah, me do a good. little bit of a uh, couple of clicks and see if she's dropped any music with all the attention she's had as of late. The last time she had a song was several months ago. Has she dropped anything? Whoa, she actually did. Deserve to die. Uh, this was dropped May 17th, okay? So about a month ago. Mm. And yeah, this is when her, her original tweet said, guys who cheat on their girl deserve to die. I don't make the rules. Hun oh, what? Wait, wait a minute. Deserve to, deserve to die is kind of outlandish. Now deserve every bad thing that's coming to him is, is understandable, but deserve to die is kind of crazy, Ruby. You still fine as fuck, but. 65,000 streams in well over a month. Nice, nice. Okay, so that's pretty much all she's dropped this year. Last year, she had a single. It got about 600,000 streams. Her music career is non-existent. Keep in mind, this was a double XL freshman, by the way. In 2022, I think it was. Regardless, that's not the main point of this video. She was on Joe Budden's podcast, and we got two big revelations. One is that Ruby Rose's memory is god awful she was on there talking about how her first big music video or no her first her debut music video was bad and bougie by migos with Lil Uzi vert that was incorrect not only that she said that she was 16 or 17 when she did that music video that is also incorrect she was at minimum 18 if not 19 i'm not going to do the exact dates but i know for a fact 100 percent sure she was between 18 and 20, younger than 20. So she was either 18 or 19. The first music video that I saw her in was Rory's Cigarette Song. Rory ended up signing a deal to, I think it was Columbia. He was originally with LVRN, Love Renaissance, which is where uh, Six Lack, Black, whatever you want to call him, is signed to, as well as Summer Walker. But I think they came after. Rory was one of the first people that they got into that machine and took him to another level. I think they ended up with a couple of disagreements and ended up parting way Rory basically left the music industry after that. But Ruby Rose was in a music video for him at least a year prior to yeah. Bad and Bougie. You could even look it up. Look up the song, Cigarette Song. And there she go. Right there. See? Off to a bad start already. Ruby Rose. Ruby Rose. Song. It's music fine. video on YouTube. I'll look it up right now. I'll give you the exact date. Cigarette Song. Yeah, this song came out well over nine years ago. Yeah, exactly nine years ago. February 24th, 2015. Ruby Rose was actually uh, underage here. She was 17, I believe, since she was born in 96. Yeah, I think she was 17 here. No, man, I'm, I'm messing up. She was underage here, not in the music video for Bad and Bougie. And this was her first music video. Do I think Ruby Rose is lying? Do I think she's trying to deceive people? No, I just genuinely think think she forgot that's it i don't think there's any malice behind it but how, how do you forget someone will say how do you forget well ruby rose's life was at this age at this time period very active hectic mm. you could say there were a lot of events going on in her life keep in mind she was involved during this time i don't know how early or how later with Travis Scott, Playboy Cardi, Ian Connor, I don't know who was first in the sequence, as well as doing the music video for Rory. She was popping in the Atlanta area, in Georgia in general. She was in the mix a lot. 
she was then she did the Migos thing. So I think for her, she's like, okay, like what I'm trying to remember. I don't even know how old I was. It was probably a whirlwind. I don't know if she was doing drugs or anything at that time, but it was definitely a whirlwind that was going on. Some people are saying, actually, I'm not going to get into the whole Cardi and her thing. This isn't about that. Ruby Rose definitely was involved with a couple of guys in the industry when she was underage. We know this. I don't think she's trying to point attention to that. I think she's always done her best to conceal that. However, with things like this, the older Ruby Rose gets and the less incentive she has to conceal that and the more she can be rewarded for exposing that, the scales will tip. Right now, Ruby Rose is kind of like the hottest thing popping, I guess. Not me. No. I wouldn't say music wise. I wouldn't I think I think she's the hottest thing because she broke up with Drewski. Really? So she's still cool, but Ruby Rose when she's thirty five 38 i don't know will she write a tell-all book like a lot of these other chicks end up doing i honestly don't know ruby rose makes a ton of money she definitely probably doesn't spend money since people are spending it on her largely Which from what i've seen with these rappers i think she's with drewski now so i wonder how odd it is when well she didn't really talk about relationships too much from the joe button clips that i saw there was another clip though that i wouldn't say irked me but it made me look at the people that tried to hate on me a couple of years ago and just point the finger back at them i wish i could just line them all up and of course not do anything violent of course not just line them all up and just scold them like point my finger at each and every one of them and that's when they asked if ruby rose writes any of her music and she said no i don't write any music <laughs> She just said it so casually, and I like Ruby Rose, man. Like, she's honest. She's honest, pretty cool, seems relatively reasonable. Music trash, garbage. Well, I've always garbage. said this. Music career, not going anywhere. You guys remember when she got booked for Rolling Loud and then had her OF on screen? Also, was, was she one of the first ones to really push this disgustingly invasive form of OF promotion? I remember 2014, you would get DMs from everybody on Twitter sending you their SoundCloud link. And you're like, dog, get the hell out of my DMs with this SoundCloud link. That's the level of desperation we're at now with OF chicks. They're just, they're doing anything. You see, you see? I'm tired of it. I'm tired of females and this OF stuff. It has to stop. Just like these 20 v ones, just like everything. All these, they got to stop. If I got to break the curse, nigga, I will. I'll go, I'll make sure I get enough money to go to every single one of us. Shut it down. Shut it down. It doesn't help. One chick that there was that portal between New York and Ireland. She's flashing herself to promote her OF. It's just, it's disgusting. It's such an invasive form of advertising or deceptive advertising. And it's for a product. Uh, actually, some of you actually do want that product. Otherwise, they wouldn't be making money. So she was doing that. I don't know if she ever got booked after that. But she's uh, signed to some sort of deal right now for her music. That I don't know how that's going she was originally with hitco which was la reed and now she's with mogul vision and interscope who is mogul vision i don't know it wasn't lil mosey's label was lil mosey on mogul vision let me see i don't think so actually that's where i do remember it yeah i think yeah that that's just nasty just disturbing if y'all subscribe to of of a female you're down bad you need help you need love in your life. You need Jesus. If you watch it, that's Mosey's crazy. label. Or the Lil Mosey's manager is the guy that runs that label. And he apparently signed Ruby Rose now. Her music isn't doing well, but she was a double XL freshman. And I went in when she got declared double XL freshman. At this time, she was with DDG. And I said, somebody called in a favor or something because she did not belong there. Everyone else no. was a genuinely known as a rapper. She was not. She had what? That Big Mouth song at the time, which was two years prior, which did about 23 million streams. It was a decently big song. But since then, we haven't seen anything from her. She doesn't have a single album album that people can put any type of respect on she has a song with future and party next door which they taxed her for that feature she definitely she says she paid for that feature good features to pay for though don't get me wrong on that one so it seems like she's just understood and played her role now which is another thing that i have to respect because she came to the realization hey uh, people don't want to hear music from me so i'm going to just silently drop music she doesn't push her music too hard pushes everything else but you guys got to show me some apologies. Well, it wasn't most of you guys. Most of you guys agreed with me. It was kind of the people that just straggle in when double XL, not when double XL is going on, but when it's a bigger topic, the people wanted to come in and hate on me. Well, not hate on me. 
they wanted to come in, attack my opinion, say I'm going too hard on Ruby Rose. Nah, her music's kind of good. Nah, she's a decent rapper. Well, you heard it from the horse's mouth. She doesn't write anything. Nothing. Nada. And it's trash. That's a double whammy right there. At double least with Cardi B, whose music I don't personally enjoy. We know she doesn't write it, but I can say, okay, Cardi B's got some hits. Ruby Rose doesn't have a single hit. No plaque. No nothing. Big Mouth was damn near almost somewhat of a hit. Man, I know independent artists that we've never heard of that have more streams than Big Mouth, which had money behind it, music video, all this other stuff. So we're not going to act like that. And Big Mouth's been out for five plus years. So to close this out, I don't think Ruby Rose is trying to get anybody into trouble yet. I think her memory is just off. I don't know if there's another music video that I've seen her in before a cigarette song, but I was dialed in like 2013 2014 i was really dialed into every single thing that was dropping i'm pretty confident i would remember if she was in something else at that time and she was popping in social media in general because of who she was affiliated with i think she just had poor memory that's really all there is to it and maybe in her mind she was looking at like, oh what's the first big music video i did because cigarette song wasn't even one of rory's well, it was one of Rory's biggest songs, but it wasn't as big as God's Whisper or Devil's Whisper, which he's more recognized by for the people that even remember him back then. You young bucks probably don't even know who he is. And that's not to kind of like try to clown y'all or to put y'all down or anything. He was just popping for a very narrow window of time and he didn't really get to actually blow up. So it's not like somebody I would expect you to know. Like, for example, if you're young and didn't grow up in the era of uh, McConan, I would still expect you to be like, oh yeah, you know McConan, you've heard him, right? Club going up on a Tuesday, it's such a big song, recognizable. But with Rory, I don't expect people that didn't grow up in that era or listen to hip hop in that era to recognize him and that's all there is to it anyways y'all that's the end of the video dang that's that's crazy the more you know let me stop ruby 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 she had her of qr code on the back of the room out lmao that's crazy yeah i'm not reading all that yeah I mean, she used to smoke heavy, so that could explain her memory. How do you just get to be in all these music videos at 16? Where are your parents? <laughs> nah, for real. People were really trying to crucify you for, and she don't write her music, her, her raps, I definitely remember. That's crazy. Mm -mm -mm. Why well, y'all do that? But anyways, it's your boy OGT Main signing out. Yippee.